Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we're gonna go back in for our fourth path in 8.2.5. We got this team here, we got the Power Sting Synergy um, for my Science Champions. Active with the Mr. Fantastic and She-Hole combo, it's one of my favorite synergies in the game. I love my Science Champs. And we got Void, we're gonna take advantage of Mr. Fantastic's and the Power Stings. Um, we got a couple couple notes here to just keep in mind the aggression cruelty generally pretty relevant we don't want to let it stack up too much but that combined with the bob and weave um, you know if we let a critical hit come through um, with that cruelty up it could be pretty brutal because uh, it can go through the block and we can disable the bob and weave either through just through a dex or a um, intercept and then if we parry, we get uh, Fury with the parry vulnerability. That's good for us. We can get some nice extra damage. Whittle down, they'll take 60% less damage, but then for each debuff, it's reduced by 20%. So basically three debuffs, we get full damage. And then this Do Not Disturb, they have 100% increased ability accuracy on the defender, and we can get rid of that by having three debuffs. So. Three debuffs is the key, and don't get crit. So let's get into it. So first off, we got this Diablo. Now, pretty much any of the champs that I have can take this one. I'm specifically going to use Mr. Fantastic. Um, and I'm gonna apply all the pre-fights. I'm gonna try to faint more than I came with. So I started out with four, we're down to one. I want to get up to like seven or eight. Uh, now that will be possible if I can get him to throw a special two three times. So with that said, I'm gonna try to hurry and be aggressive and do sh shortened combos. Um, Hold my block and push him to special two, and then hopefully he throws it pretty quick. Sir, thank you. And then again, we're just gonna try to push, we're gonna hold block. Because so we get him to throw a special two, then three times, and then we just need him to throw one special one. And then we're good. And I'm not gonna throw the special one yet, because I that has that taunt. Holy, holy block damage. All right, we're gonna throw this, get the knockdown. Now it's gonna make, the, with the suppression, it's gonna make it a little bit harder to get to special two. But let's see if we can get it. Oh, we just lost all our debuffs, which really stinks. Alright, but we got the special. We got that special two locked. And really, we only care about. many unique debuffs as possible. So we're gonna spam. Oh, we didn't want him to throw a special two because he's gonna, we're gonna lose a debuff here. All right, we're gonna, we lost, oh my, that was probably the worst thing that could have happened. I restart this. Let's see how many we might have four. If we have less than four. How many do we end up with? We have four. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. Alright. We're gonna use She-Hulk on this one. Mainly because she's got the slow. So we can keep um, Spider-Man from evading. Um, even with his, uh, 
Iron Man tech thingy up without knocking him down with a heavy. Um, so if we cannot eat heavies, or we will definitely lose this fight. Special two. There we go. So we get an extra debuff up. Get the slow up. Come on, throw your special. Okay. Disable that bob and weave where possible with a dex or an intercept. So we don't take so much damage into the block. Which we're about 50-50, right? Luckily I feel pretty confident at evading. Special two, because this guy's being kind of a turd. There we go. With um, throwing a special one. Can't debate that. some chip damage, but that's okay. One fight. One fight. Did some work. Alright, so we got a red guardian. I'm gonna go in with Tigra. Here's a refill. Um, I haven't fought this guy a ton, but I know you can counter his special one and do a little crouching tiger miss shenanigans with Tigra and wreck this dude, so we're going to try to do that. I think you can retaliate this guy's heavy because it's kind of like a green goblin where he goes away from you. Um, something like that. I think you can retaliate quicker. Here we go. Alright, unblockable. Beautiful. Ruptures. Okay, that was not good. I've lost my senses. We're getting melted. Can we kill this dude before we melt away? I don't know if we can. I don't have my senses up. No, I think we'll survive. Barely. We need to refresh. Next up, we got a Sasquatch, so we're going to use 
void for this Sasquatch. Sorry, for the Sasquatch we're gonna use void. And we're gonna use plan on using void for the doom. So um I don't mind fighting this dude as much. So we're gonna go petrify and suppress. Debuff siphon could be helpful, but uh, we only got two left, so we're gonna just kind of do two. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go void. Void is not, you know, blazing fast, but man, he sure is reliable. I'm gonna try to get these knockdowns frequently. Um, and Dexes to make sure the Bob and Weave um, stay off and we don't get too much block damage. And yeah, getting hit would be, not getting hit would be nice. Rest these things. There we go. And we went for the special two. Normally, um, I like to go for a lot of special ones, but where I have some Mr. Fantastics already on there doing some work, I'm gonna be throwing the special twos to get like hopefully both a weakness and a degen. Throw it, throw it, and those went to waste. Perfect. Does he still get stunned? Yes, he does. Uh, we let all our, we let the debuffs fall off. We we're too slow. kicking in. Let's go. Throw a special and die. Throw a special and die. There we go. Thank you. Go to sleep. 24,000 sting damage. I'll take it. Alright, so a little bit of chip damage. Not the cleanest fight, but it's done. Um, we're going to use Sim on this fight for height. Got great power control, we can get a lot of bleeds and armor breaks and weaknesses and all that good stuff. As long as we can kind of get some of these staggers on at the beginning to prevent him from getting some power gains and he has, um, you know, a cooperative AI and throw in the specials. We shall be okay. Alright, we're just gonna go for this. Start it up. So we can get some bleeds going. I run max 5 out of 5 MD, which is really awesome mastery for um, Sin. Breaks, weaknesses, bleeds. Beautiful. Alright, we're at we're at max genetic under genetic. Yeah, well, this this dude's this dude's rinsed. I think as long as he throws one more special, I think we'll be good. A lot of fun. 
Alright, so then we got Doom, and we're gonna go Mr. Fantastic, Pre-Fights, Petrify, and Suppression, just the less power for him, and we're gonna go Void, so as long as we keep that Suppression, and the Petrify up, plus we can get one from our abilities, we don't have to worry about Hazorath, I prefer um, Doom's special one. Let's see, we also need to, yeah, there we go, we also need to make those first couple blocked hits with the bob and weave, I mean, Doom's block penetration is pretty nasty as it is, yeah, like right there, that was, that was pretty nasty, um, we don't want to see a lot of that, we don't want to see that either. Get away from me. Refresh. Okay. Refresh these. Can we bait? Okay. Refresh with a knockdown and get some stings on. Throw it. Refresh those. Yes, we got them. Wow, I'm playing terrible. Don't shock me. No. Five. Oh, we lost the debuffs. All right, we gotta play squeaky clean here. Oh, look at all those cruelties. can't take a hit into the block because it will kill us. What a what a terrible what a terrible fight with Void. <laughs> we couldn't dex anything. How many times did we get hit? Five times? Felt more than that. Alright. Now with that said, we're going to go take the Cersei boss, and we're going to swap out, I wasn't going to swap out Boy, I was going to swap out Sheeple, but um, I think we're just going to swap out Boy because I'm most likely not going to heal anybody, and we're going to swap in Longshot. So I have three attackers that are solid counters for this. So this is um, stress test. Whenever the attacker blocks a hit, we pause all buffs on the defenders. Whenever the attacker avoids a hit with dexterity or inflicts an, uh, inflict an atrophy for two and a half seconds, reducing duration of any new buff. So we want to dex. Stuff. We don't want to block too many, too many of their hits. Vigorous Assault, there's going to be Regen. Um, buffet, okay. Going to trigger some Regen, got it. Hit Me I Dare You, going to trigger some um, Armor Ups, that's fine. And then Mystic Ascension, or Ascendancy, so we're going to have extra attack on the Mystics. I'm going to use Long Shot. And long shot should melt this girl. As long as I'm mindful of the regens and when she's unblockable, um, yeah, should be good. So if we block, we pause all of the debuffs. If we dex, we inflict an atrophy. But if we dex, we will trigger buff A over time, which will put a seven second regen on. So, we're 
gonna start out with Perry Heavy and see. Perry Heavy and try to gain some power and some, uh, what do you call them? Bad Karma on her. Okay, she's got her uh, glance thingy. We're gonna, uh, we pause, oh, we're pausing that, got it, okay. Let's go, unblockable. But guess what, eat that, eat it. And melt, melt away, melt away. Cersei. Come on. Throw it. Throw it. Alright, we can just throw this into the block because we got pure heart up. It's gonna do massive damage. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. And uh, let's go. Throw it. And that's going to about do it, I think. little easy solo long shot is OP I've heard you know Cersei can be a little bit annoying but long shot makes her so easy hope you like that one um, the path it went okay it wasn't perfect I have not the cleanest fights but we didn't we didn't die right we didn't die uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.